For months, these Year 9 and 10 James Hargis College pupils have been raising their own salmon for this very day. The pupils were given 30 salmon over earlier this year and were taught the necessary steps to keep them alive and healthy. We get the fish from Fish and Game in about May of each year and then the students are involved with setting up the tank, putting the eggs in and we take care of them from egg through to hatching, through to swim up fry and then finally releasing them in the last couple of weeks of term. Williamson says the interactive learning is a great way to engage the pupils. You can't all learn from reading, so they can actually see and feel and today we're going to be doing water quality testing with Environment Southland and the kids can actually see the impact that their actions and the actions of people in the community have on the water and why it's important to look after them. Once the salmon were released, pupils were given a salmon anatomy lesson from Fish and Game Field Officer Cohen Stewart. He said the most challenging part of raising the salmon was the constant monitoring of the water quality, but that students were quick to learn if anything went wrong. The kids are feeding the salmon a bit too much and not monitoring the water quality. Water quality drops in the tank and you start to get a few salmon turning belly up. So the kids quickly appreciate when they get a few salmon dying, hey, we've got to keep on top of this water quality. Classes from James Hargis College have been participating in the programme for the past three years and Williamson says their first year release should be coming up to spawn this winter. Hunting and fishing in Vicargill has taken six of the salmon to grow in store and may be tagging them before their release, allowing the pupils to track them. Sharon Rees, The South Today.